for now, which is called the Free National Movement. The PLB would be like the American Democrats, the FNM like the Republicans. Our very first Prime Minister, last Premier. His name was the Right Honorable Sir Lyndon Oscar Pinley, and he got the title Sir because he was knighted by the Queen. And here in the islands, we do not have a two-term government system like the Americans do because of President Roosevelt. As long as you're doing your job, you will be re-elected. Our very first Prime Minister, last Premier, the Right Honorable Sir Lyndon Oscar Pinley, he ran the country for 25 years straight before he lost an election, and our elections are every five years. Today, our Prime Minister is right honorable, Perry Gladstone Christie, also under the PLP administration, and to both after our very first Prime Minister to pass away. As we leave South Bahamia, we'll be heading now into the downtown area. Where we'll be stopping into the food vendors market where you guys can do a little shopping. And also, if you want to, you can try the famous Bahamian count at the count at the vendors market. Now, the count is a shellfish. Now, some people say it tastes like chicken. <laughs> so anyone who wants to try, you can try it, and then you tell me if it tastes like chicken or not. Now, when two counts are mating, the strongest person in the world can't separate them. And when they're done, they have over a million babies. Now, that might seem like a lot, but do remember, you have to talk to others, try to eat them up until they make their way into the sand. Once they make their way into the sand, then you have to bottom dwellers like the nurse sharks and the stingrays, try to eat them up. Once they get two years old or older, then you have the humans eating them up. <laughs> and a tongue is prepared in many different ways. Here in the islands, you would find conch salad, conch fritters, grilled conch, scotch conch, stew conch, conch and rice, conch and grits, conch burger, conch chowder, conch pizza. Before you guys leave the island, you should be conched out. <laughs> <laughs> to our right, you know there's a tall yellow building, and that's called, that used to be the Crown Plaza. You know the Crown Plaza used to house the Princess Casino. The whole property is called the Royal Oasis Country Club and Crown Plaza. This resort has been closed since the hurricanes of 2004, Francis and Jane. Since the closure of this resort, about 2,000 people are out of work, and most of them moved to other islands in search of work. This resort was eventually bought out by the Lehman Brothers. And as we all know today, the Lehman Brothers are now officially broke. <laughs> so this resort is back on the market. So if you guys know anyone who wants to get into the hotel business, please let me know before you get back on the cruise ship so we can try and get this hotel back up and running. <laughs> you are right, the tall, skinny yellow building with the gray stripe is called Casa Bahama. This is the tallest building here on Grand Bahama Island, standing at 18 stories. And this is our skyscraper also under renovation. Our building codes won't allow us to build this tall anymore. The reason for that is our firefighting equipment only can get to the 14th floor. So if you live above the 14th floor and this building would catch fire, you would be on your own. <laughs> Next to them is the International Bazaar. And the International Bazaar got its name because everyone from around the world represented themselves in the International Bazaar. If you're from Brazil, India, China, Mexico, Spain, Africa, where you're from, people from those countries worked in this source. So as you move through that area, you felt like you went those places. So we were the internet before the internet caught up with us. The International Bazaar was built in 1966. To our right, you'll notice the colorful building, which is called Club Amnesia. They did not get that name for no unknown reason. Now, Club Amnesia, when they're open, they usually stay open until 6 in the morning. The reason for that is, when you leave the club, you can head straight to church. Uh -huh. <laughs> as we go towards the downtown area, we'll be passing a few buildings that I'll point out to you. The first one coming up to our left, which is the big yellow building, is a government office complex which is called Canadian Expect. Nowhere in here you'll find Customs, yes, Immigration, okay. Ministry of Education, that's the name of you, the Passport Office. Next to them is CIBC, or First Caribbean. you find this fine ball throughout the Caribbean islands, and next to them is the Harold Gregory Complex. 
the Prime Minister's Secretary Office is at the top right hand corner. Here on this island we have local government who take our complaints to local government, local government that goes into the capital and hopefully we get results. To our right you speak to condominiums where you know it's empty field, car season man and north and south. Those condos got a lot of damage during the hurricanes of 2004 and 5. They also had a building fire and they had no choice but to push them down. To our left is Commonwealth Bank, which is a Bahamian bank owned and operated by Bahamians with assets topping $1 billion. Geneva is another Bahamian restaurant that specializes in the Bahamian dishes like the peas and rice, the fried fish, the conch, the lobster, the baked macaroni, sweet potato bread, coconut tart, pineapple tart, and the famous Bahamian guava duck. Now in America, in most states, you can make a right on red. Here in the islands in the Bahamas, we cannot make a left on red. We have to sit and wait our turn. Mm. As we turn on to now Pioneer's Way, to our right, the three-story pink and white building is the Grand Bahama Port Authority and Group of Companies. These are the guys with the big guns. <laughs> Everything that goes on in the city of Freeport, they have their hands involved. If you have an idea, you have to take it to them for approval. If you have a really good idea, and they like your idea, they'll deny you and do what they sell. <laughs> Inside the center of town, to our right, you'll find Sir Winston Churchill Square and the statue of Sir Winston Churchill. Sir Winston Churchill, he was a British Prime Minister that did two terms, also a general in the army, and he too got the title sir because he was knighted by the Queen. The yellow building to our right used to be when Dixie until when Dixie filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and eventually closed all their stores here in the islands. Mm -hmm. Also to our right, you notice all the public buses and this is how the majority of the locals get around the island by public transportation. Here we are now in the Venice Market where you guys can spend 25 minutes. So we'll be, we'll be leaving here at 11 o'clock. In the cage to our left, you'll notice the land crabs, and we'll catch a crab and make crab and rice, stuffed crab, crab fat and dough, crab cakes. Also to our left, the guy with the brown shirt on, that's the bush doctor. So if you have high blood pressure, low blood pressure, diabetes, back pains, arthritis, whatever it is, you can talk with the bush doctors, and if they have anything you can take, it's already pre-packaged, so you can take it home with you. All the way up front, the little yellow building. It's the restaurants, and next to them is Brenda. It's the Kong Brenda, and to our right is Brenda, and this is where you get your daiquiris. Now, do you remember, guys, you have to finish your daiquiris before you get back on the bus. And she's gonna come on board and give you guys some coupons for the daiquiris. Dos per cinco, habla espanol, anyone? <laughs> Good morning. I like to I like to test my my different languages. Good morning. How's everyone today? My name is Brenda. The tribal parks right in the front of my stand because he knows these are the best tropical drinks on the island. Because it's 300 degrees outside, take one and pass it back. You need something cold to drink. So right outside of your door, turn right, go right up on the patio. We have fresh mango, peach, and pineapple at the bottom. Fresh strawberry, watermelon on top. And if it's not, if it's not early enough, or you feel you want to put a little something, something in it, you can do that, okay? I don't mind, make sure you go to the right place. It's going to get coupons for a lot of different places right up here on the patio. You guys go ahead of me, okay? So get your drinks because we got a lot of buses coming, two for five, okay? Two for Everybody five. know where they're going? For drinks? Yeah. Yeah, right up on the patio. Turn right. That's okay. Exactly. Oh. Turn right, guys. Turn exactly. right. Turn right. Go up on the patio. Get your drinks and then shop. Want a little rum in it if you like? Don't worry. 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 Don't worry.